Hello my little butterflies and today I'm going to be doing a first date book tag. So you guys, I have been seeing this tag go around book two for a little while and I said I wanted to do it because it seemed like it's really fun. I really love the questions and I have good answers. Um, so first of all, this tag was created by Kate's book tag and I'm going to link her YouTube channel down below and you guys. This sounds amazing. I wasn't tagged to do this. I never really am tagged to do any tags. So, but hey, look, whatever. I don't care. I like this tag. It has a lot of good questions. So, hey, I'm going to do it. And I wanted to do one more video before I was done filming for today. This is going to be the third video I filmed today. So, I wanted to do one more because, like, honestly, my work has, like, gotten crazy. So, I just want to make sure I have enough, like, pre-recorded videos so that way I don't be going MIA for God knows how long. So that way I think I may have time to film again Monday or Tuesday because today is, what's today? Thursday. <laughs> today is Thursday. So I might have time to film again, you know, Monday or Tuesday. Like I might not, but I'm pretty sure I will. But anyway, the first question is that awkward first date. A book where you felt something was off. It wasn't a bad book, but it left that spark for you. So, for this book, I chose In Real Life by Cory Doctorow. So, this is a graphic novel. I read this last year. I think last year. No, year before last, I read this. And, you guys, I didn't, like, it's not, it, nothing was wrong with it. It wasn't a bad book. It just, and it just felt like it wasn't enough. Like, it didn't fill me up. Like, it wasn't enough of the plot for me. I just felt, at the end of the book, I felt like I was left hanging. Like, not like the story wasn't finished, but it just, I felt like it could have been more things added into the plot. The graphics were really cute. Like, it's a beautiful book. And I own it. I just didn't feel like taking out all of these books, you know? But it's a beautiful book. I just felt like it lacked. You know, I let, it lacked in the, in the plot for me. I felt like it, like, more could have been done. But nothing was wrong with it. It wasn't bad. It just, didn't hit it for me, you know? The second question is, the cheap first date. A book that turned out less than you expected. For this, I chose Crossed by Ellie Condi. Also, Reach by Ellie Condi. But mostly, both. <laughs> what am I talking about? Both of them, they really lacked for me. But I was really more shocked about Crossed because Matched was so freaking amazing. I loved Matched. I really did. I loved it. And these were beautiful books. I love Matt. Okay, and I think this was the series that I first read. Like, the, this was the first book that I seen, like, on BookTube that I actually bought and read. Since that's why I heard it from, it was from BookTube. And, y'all, I love Matt. And then when I got to Cross, I read Matt so fast. I was like, I got to Cross, and I was like, oh, this about to be so good. I'm about to figure out what's going on, what didn't happen since the last time. And I felt left out, you know? I think I gave Matt four out of five. I don't think I gave it a five, but I think I gave it a four. And I think with Cross, I ended up giving it a three because it started to go down. Like, it wasn't the worst yet, but it was like, damn, really? Like, this is worse than the first book. This should have been better. And then I got to Reach. I was like, you are freaking kidding me. It took me almost a year to read Reach because I kept, I would read a chapter and then I would have to stop. And I would read a step in between, but I just, I couldn't. I couldn't. It's like, that's, it, that's what it was doing to me, you know? And... I did my review for Reach too, so I'm gonna find it because it's somewhere deep, deep into my video. So, and I'm gonna link it so y'all can see it because I was really depressed <laughs> from that one for real. Number three is the well prepared first date, a book that was better than expected. And for that, I had two answers for that. First, it's Ray Queen. I know y'all like what you love it so much. What do you mean? It's better than you expected it to be. Okay, look, that was the first book. Okay, I heard about it through booktube but when i got it you know i didn't expect to love it i like i wanted to love it but i didn't ex really expect to love it as much as i do now it being you know up there with twilight you know being one of my favorite series i didn't think it was gonna be like that i was like oh, this is this is probably be a good book but i didn't think i was gonna love it like i did so it like shocked it shocked <laughs> how do people say it? it like knocked my sock it knocked Look, it knocked my chakras. <laughs> so, I really did love, I love Red Queen way more than I thought I was going to. And the second book is If I Stay. And, yo, I think it's by Gail Foreman. 
I didn't think I was gonna love if I stay like I did, and I loved and I cried for that book too. That was the first book I cried for in a while. Like I had literal, literally tears in my eyes <laughs> reading that book. I was so emotionally distraught when I was reading this book. That was ridiculous, but I loved it so much. But I didn't think I was gonna love it like that. Like it's, I didn't think it was gonna be a bad book going into it, but I didn't think I was gonna love it either. I thought it was gonna be one of those like, oh, that was nice, you know, I liked it or whatever. I loved it. Like, I actually loved that book so much. I didn't really care for the movie that much. The movie was okay, but like I said, the movie made Adam look like an asshole compared to the book made him look like a gentleman, like a sweetheart. But the movie made him look like a jackass. Like, totally. Totally. So, yeah. yeah. If y'all haven't read If I Stay Yet, I don't know where the hell y'all been, but y'all need to go read that book, okay? It was good. I'm still waiting for them to make a movie for where she went i went there do y'all know if they're going to because it's been a while it's been a long ass time like you think netflix will make one for where she went because if i stay it's on netflix if y'all want to go look at it it's on netflix i think it should still be on netflix but you know how netflix is they have stuff here this month and next month they take it off so i don't know but definitely go and check the team number four is hot but dumb a pretty book not so hot on the inside and for this i said reached again by Ellie Condi and crossed but mostly and primarily reached like reached is the worst book in the series and it's the final book in the trilogy but it is the worst the absolute worst book and I love the covers of the match trilogy they are beautiful covers but reach was so bad it was just so bad y'all like I <laughs> it was so bad like to me it's like I know there's people out there that like that actually like like the whole trilogy but i hated the last book it, it was so bad it took me so long to get rid of it because then i was in that mindset like i don't want to just start a book and not finish it it's like i didn't like i looked down upon dnf and books back then but now i was like shit if i can't finish it, i'm not gonna force myself and it put me in like the biggest reading slump because it took me like a year to get through that book it put me in the biggest reading slump i've ever been trying to get through that book so I did not like that book. Beautiful cover, but terrible on the inside. Number five is The Blind Date. A book you picked up not knowing anything about it. Don't hate me, y'all. The book thief. I love that book, but I picked it up not knowing anything about it. Like, I picked the book thief up literally not knowing anything about it. It was nothing like what I thought it was going to be, but I just kept hearing people say it was amazing. It was really good. So I'm like, damn, I want to pick this up since it was really good. And then I joined... Um, this booktuber that I used to look at all the time was the Broken Bookshelf, and she started a book club called the Broken Book Club, and this was the first read, so I was like, well, okay, I'll read it then. And it was not anything like I thought it was going to be by the title. I thought it was going to be something totally different than from what it was, but I absolutely loved it. So it was that, thank God I bought it. It's like, thank God I bought this book and it was good because Jesus knows I would have been mad because I bought it and didn't know nothing about it and it was bad. I would have been upset, but thank God it was good. Number six is Speed Dating, a book that you read super fast. So with this book, it, I picked I picked two for this question. And the first one is Cinder by Marissa Meyer. And y'all, I love this so much. Like, I read this so fast. I read this in less than a week. It didn't take me a whole seven days to read this book because I couldn't stop reading it. And I kept saying I couldn't put it down. It was so freaking amazing. I did a review for this, so I'm going to... You know, link my review in the eye, whichever side is on, and I'm going to put it in the description box below. Like, I loved it so freaking much, y'all, and I read it so freaking fast. And, um, another book, well, series that I read really, really fast was the Twilight series. I read those books so freaking fast. Like, the time it took, you know, like, average people to read, I read it so fast. I think Breaking Dawn, I read it in two freaking days, because I would read it nonstop. And then at the time, you know, I wasn't old enough to have a job, so it's like I would go to school and then come home. You know, so really, like, I'll be reading all at school. Like, I'll be done my work and be sitting in class reading. And then I'll read on a bus. And then I get home and I'm just sitting in the kitchen reading until I'm finished. Like, I think that book I actually finished at, like, 2 o'clock or 3 o'clock in the morning on a weekend. reading hangover and it kind of ruined the book for you <laughs> oh my god y'all um i don't know like i can't even think about it because it's like 
I know the book that I read after the worst reading hangover that I had, and that was Reached. That was like the worst like reading something I had been through, and I think the book that I read too soon after it was Why the Cage Bird Sings of Maya Angelou. But I didn't hate it. Like, it didn't ruin a book for me. It made me read it slower than what I probably would have if I hadn't, you know, just jumped right into it after Reach. Um, but it didn't ruin it for me. It just, I probably, it, it made, it definitely took a toll on the reading time that I had through that book. Because I just, I should have just rested. You know, maybe I should have started reading Griffin when I was then. Because then maybe it would have jump started me. Like, just something short and quick. But... It didn't ruin it. I really did like why Cage Bird Sings, but it, it took me way longer to read it than what I probably would have if I hadn't jumped right into it and used it as my rebound book. Number eight is The Over-Enthusiastic Date. This is a book that it felt like it was trying just too hard. And this is a book I read in February, and it is The Feeling Boyfriend by Casey West. And I do feel like this was trying too hard. I thought I gave this book a three out of five stars. It was just way too mushy, and it was just... Too many other characters was just proclaimed to be perfect, and I didn't like that, because that's not real. Like, no one has a perfect little family life, and I don't like when characters are perceived as just being perfect with no problems. I don't like that. And I thought it was trying too hard to be sweet and too hard to be mushy, and at some points it was just being too hard to, to be mean girlish, you know? So, that was definitely a book that I didn't like as much as a lot of people say they loved this book and it was amazing. I didn't really like it that much. You know, it was okay, but I didn't really like it that much, so... This is another part, yeah. Number nine, the perfect first date, aka my Matthew Googler. The book that did everything right for you. Okay, now I know what y'all thinking. Y'all think I'm about to say Red Queen, but I'm not. Shocked the shit out of y'all just now. I know, right? I'm actually about to say the second book that a lot of people probably say, and that is Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. Now I haven't read the other books. I have the second book. I haven't read all the other books yet. I just read that one. But they did everything right for me. I, sh I probably should have read. I probably should have used this book for my speed dating question too, because I finished this book in like three or four days. This book was so good, y'all. Like it was so good. Like all together, the books that I read, like the time that it took me to read, was probably three or four days. I had started reading it and then I stopped because me and my brother were supposed to be reading it together, and I thought he had started reading it. He started reading it before me, so I thought he was like almost done. So I hurry up and I jumped into it, and I read so much just the first day. And then he told me that he, I had passed him up, way past him. I was like, okay, I'll stop and I'll wait for you to catch up. And then he wasn't even reading it, so I was like, you know what? Freaking, I'm not waiting on you no more. I'm gonna finish it. And y'all, I love this so much. You did everything for me. It's like I kind of knew, you know, what's gonna happen because I watched the movie. So it's kind. It wasn't nothing that it nothing happened that I didn't know was gonna happen. It's more of you know I was anticipating this to happen. Like I would get to a part like, oh, this is gonna happen next. I can't wait to get to this part. The only thing I think that I didn't know about that happened in the book that I don't think happened in the movie because it's been a while since the movie was when um, Hagrid had the pet dragon. And, you know, they were trying to get rid of the dragon because he would get in trouble for it. That's the only thing I think that I didn't, that wasn't in a movie, that was in a book that I didn't know about. But, y'all, I love Harry Potter, like, and like I said, and like when I ever I talk about this book, I don't know why it took me so long to read Harry Potter. Now, I found out that Harry Potter, you know, the series first started, it first came out, I was just two years old. It came out in 98, okay? I was just two. So, of course, I wasn't reading it then. But I would always see it in the library when I went in the library. And the library books look so much bigger. I don't know. Maybe it's at the time. You know, I'm younger and I'm seeing it look huge to me. I just remember it looking so big in the library and intimidating. And that's why I never picked them up because I was like, I'm intimidated by them. Like, before I was like a real reader-reader. It's like, damn, those books are huge. I don't know. You know, I hear good things about them, but I don't know. They look just too big. Because of the content. 
Like, it's not, I love this book, don't get me wrong. I love this series, like, it is the bomb. Like, it's an adult series, okay? Look at me, adult, okay? And the reason why I would be, like, embarrassed to be seen reading it in public is because of two things. The cover is, you know, people are seeing just automatically, oh, she's reading porn, that's a sex book, okay? And then the second reason is, so the content is, like, when you're reading it, you make faces, and it's like, oh okay that's what's happening oh my god <laughs> wow it's like it's kind of make you blush to read some of the stuff so that's why i'll be embarrassed to be seen reading that in public because it makes you like okay it, it makes you blush and it kind of makes you it's not uncomfortable not a bad uncomfortable but like a good uncomfortable while you're reading it and it's like that's why i was saying that's something i read at home <laughs> that way people don't be looking at me funny like what the hell is she reading over there and she doing all of that so y'all that is the first date book tag and um i didn't really think ahead of tagging people to do this and usually i do sit there and think about people i want to tag for these videos but i didn't even think about it i just did my answers wrote my answers down for them and was not even thinking about who i'm gonna tag so i'm just gonna tag all of you out there that did not do this tag yet it's a fun tag it's a fun thing to think about so i want to challenge all of you to do this tag and think about your answer because it's a whole lot of fun this is a really fun book tag so definitely go and try it out okay don't forget to like share and subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys later bye we're going